Jeff. Well, KMIR is proud to sponsor a golf tournament next week, May 20th, to benefit Roy's Resource Center in Palm Springs. The homeless center was named after the late supervisor, Roy Wilson. Our Gloria Rodriguez spoke with some of the people who've been benefited by this center. Kathy Ziegler and her dog Bella lived in this SUV for two days. It wasn't nice. It was, it was embarrassing, but I had to sleep somewhere. The 56-year-old used to work in real estate, but she and her service dog Bella became homeless after a bad housing situation. I had a five-bedroom house and a nanny and raised two children all by myself and was successful and uh, thinking, oh my goodness, I can't believe this happened. You've seen so many homeless people and I am now the face of homelessness. Ziegler was one of nearly 2,500 homeless individuals in Riverside County this year, according to county figures. Roy's Desert Resource Center in Palm Springs became home to Ziegler and Bella for two months until she found affordable housing in Yucca Valley. The center also helped 63-year-old veteran James Bain. The retired roofer lived at Roy's for three months. Like Ziegler, he found himself on the street after he couldn't afford an apartment by himself. Everything was going good. I, at my age, I never thought this would happen to me, but... Uh... It does. It happens to anybody. Um, unfortunately, a lot of us live from check to check. The homeless shelter can accommodate 90 individuals each night. Roy's offers courses and services to teach self-sufficiency and find housing, something that helped Bain. It got me to realize to, to, to put my future in front of me and not think that it's always going to be given to me any situation that I, I have to take control of my life. The Friends of Roy's Foundation is holding a golf tournament right here at Bighorn Golf Club on May 20th. They are raising funds for Roy's Resource Center. For more information on the golf tournament, you can go to our website, KMIR.com. In Palm Desert, Gloria Rodriguez, KMIR News. Now back to you. Well, state lawmakers are trying to decide exactly what should be done with a three